Hello, this is Mighty Owl. A magnitude 6 hit Southern California today. There was some minor damage to some buildings. Thankfully, no one was injured. Wow, an earthquake right here in California. I'm so glad that no one was hurt and that the buildings were only damaged just a little bit. I wonder, what ways are there to engineer a building so that it's more resistant to damage in an earthquake? Let's experiment with some designs using materials we can find right in our own homes to see what we can come up with. Hard hats on! Engineers have worked hard to come up with designs for buildings that are safer in the event of an earthquake. That has allowed them to build really tall structures that pierce through the mighty sky. Truly incredible. One solution engineers have come up with is to create a base for buildings that will absorb the movement of an earthquake. Let's try this out using the following materials. A cardboard box to serve as our building, as well as a square piece of cardboard that will be the base. Let's gather various shock-absorbing materials such as rubber bands, cotton balls, erasers, even small springs from the inside of a pen. We'll also need some tools to attach the shock absorbers to the building, like some tape, paper clips, string, and a stapler. Finally, we'll need a small plastic toy, like a Lego figure, to put on top of the box that represents our building. Let's test out one material at a time by attaching them to the base of the building. For example, we can take the cotton balls and tape them to the base. Next, we'll place the box on top of the base with the cotton balls touching the desk and the Lego figure on top of the box. We'll put our design onto a desk or table. And now, we'll create an earthquake. An imaginary one, of course. Here we go. Let's grab a large book like a dictionary. Hold it one foot above the table and boom, drop it onto the table. Does your Lego figure fall over? Does it fall off of the imaginary building? If it did, your base did not absorb enough of the movement created by your earthquake. Do not despair, mighty engineers, for Rome wasn't built in a day. Try out some of the other shock-absorbing materials you gathered in the same way. As you are designing and testing the base for your building, let's think about this question. Which material works best to absorb the movement of the earthquake? If your Lego figure doesn't fall over, that's a good indicator that your building would not be damaged by the quake. If you find a design that works, try to see how it would hold up to a stronger earthquake by dropping the book from two feet above the table. Let's explore some more ways engineers can help to make earthquakes not so destructive to buildings. Engineers also work to find building materials and structure designs that can resist the damage of an earthquake. You can try this out at home, too. Gather a variety of building materials, such as uncooked spaghetti noodles, straws, tape, and marshmallows. We'll use these materials to design and construct a structure. The goal is to build something that will be able to withstand the shaking of an earthquake. This time, let's create a shake table to test out the design. Here's how to do it. Let's start by gathering rubber bands, binder clips, and a flat square piece of cardboard. We'll also need a plastic bin, preferably one with holes in it so that we can weave the rubber bands through them. Next, we'll feed the rubber bands through the holes in the plastic bin, then through the binder clips. Finally, let's clip the binder clips to the cardboard. We'll repeat this on each side of the cardboard square. Cool! We've created a shake table that will help stimulate an earthquake. Let's put the tower on top of the shake table and use the tape to secure it. It's time to create an earthquake. So, we'll give the table a good shake. Now, don't shake it too hard. A magnitude 5 earthquake is considered moderate, so that's what we want to try to simulate. Our shake table shouldn't lift up off the table when we shake it. 
A good way to shake it is to move the bin left and right at a constant speed while it's on the table. How does your design stand up to the earthquake? If it falls apart, try a different design or try using different materials. You may need to adjust and rebuild several times before you come up with a building that can withstand an earthquake. And that's okay. Engineers most certainly need to do that. Which shapes and materials did you find work the best to create a stronger structure? The process we just did of designing, testing, and revising is exactly what engineers do when they work on problems like creating earthquake-resistant buildings. You may have found that some materials were better to absorb the shock of the earthquake you created than others. You also probably found that certain materials and structural designs worked better at surviving your shake table. Who knows? Maybe one of your designs will be the future of earthquake-resistant buildings. Until next time, mighty engineers.